All right, right off the bat, we're going to make a pretty bold claim. This is the all-new Flex Stack Pack, and it absolutely obliterates DeWalt's Tough System 2.0, Rigid PTS, Craftsman versus Stack, and Trade Stack, and yes, Milwaukee's Pack Out. And we're going to prove it. Two, Let's go. All right, let's start with the basics first. Flex Stack Pack is a modular tool storage system that locks together, making it easy to move everything onto the job site at once. There are many different ways that these systems lock. Flex is one of the few auto-locking systems which connects simply by setting one box on top of another. Now when these are empty, they need a little bit of a push, but when they're loaded up, the latching is indeed automatic. Unlike the packout cleat system, these connect with two clips on either side, which at first glance looks like a two-handed job. But technically, if you have something in your hand, you can actually unlock each side one at a time and then lift apart the boxes with one hand. Now, just like Packout, it's IP65 rated, has metal reinforced corners, which none of their other competitors have. And while the stack pack is built thicker, we're talking 0.02 inches, so I feel more comfortable saying it's just as tough as Milwaukee. But to put that to the test, we're going to drop this 16-pound hammer on them a bit later in this video. Now let's first look at the cases themselves. We have the rolling toolbox, medium toolbox, a suitcase toolbox, plus full-size and half-size organizer boxes, each full of organizational bins with built-in dividers. We'll come back to those in just a minute. But here is where the stack pack starts to add extra features that packout fans have been waiting for for a very long time, like the removable handle on the rolling box so it can fit on the back of a pickup with a tanu cover. There are several aftermarket kits for Packout, and we've seen other brands like Ryobi Link start to offer their own kits. But the Flex Stack Pack makes it super easy to remove the handle right from the beginning. But it's when you open up these boxes that the stack pack starts to establish an entirely new level of accessibility and customization, starting with these. Yup, gas struts are found on both the rolling box and medium toolbox. Now, honestly, I thought this would be a gimmick, but there's a very real reason for these struts beyond easy open and close. It's because you're gonna need that extra boost when you load up the lid with Flex's new stack pack cases. Now, Flex will be offering all of their accessories in these amazing new boxes. Each one is designed to be taken apart and put back together with exactly what you need. Only use two socket sizes in your work? Just pull those two out and add them to your primary accessory case. Or just bring them all. They all securely snap into the mounts under the lids, and you can add even more mounts inside the box. But that's not even as small as these cases get. These are the Flex Stack Pack small cases, and they are small. These are bulk packs of common impact driver bits in square, Phillips, slot, and star bits. And yes, they securely fit in all of your accessory cases. And you can even attach your stack pack case onto each other because yo dog, I heard you like cases. And maybe the most welcome feature of all is this clever rockout system. Have you ever cut your fingers on a bit like this trying to tear it out of an accessory case? Not here. All of their hex bits easily rotate up and then lift right out. And I freaking love that. But bringing all these accessories back to the stack pack boxes where all these crazy case combinations click right in. And we can't forget your batteries. We've got these clever battery racks to keep them organized too. So that's a lot. As you can no doubt imagine, the system is going to be easily customized to your job and your workflow. Only bring what you need to get the job done and organize it so you can find everything quickly. And of course, your batteries might need charge on the job site too, not a problem. They offer adjustable charger mounts that can go either on your lid or inside your box so you can easily plug them in and get charging. And quite honestly, that already makes these cases better than anything else we've ever tested before. But we haven't talked about the outside yet. <laughs> Once again, taking inspiration from the Packout DIY community, Flex offers these clever level holders, which happens to hold my limited edition color match to Bila just fine. And these cord wraps are a great way to organize your extension cords without taking up a ton of space in your boxes or getting all tangled up in your tools. But it's this that really got our attention. Yeah, Flex saw this stack pack as not only a way to move your tools onto the job site, but also a way to use your tools as well. These are the accessory racks that mount to the front or sides of your cases. Once on, your stack pack suddenly becomes a mobile workstation. You can now easily hang your tools on the side, keeping them organized off the ground and easy to grab. Plus, your battery rack from inside your case can now be moved to the outside so you can switch batteries as needed. 
Plus, you remember those organizer bins? Yep, they come out and clip on too. And for a lot of guys on the job site, after they get the tools and fasteners out that they need, they'll just wheel the stack from room to room, getting the job done as they go. So the Flex Stack Pack is far and away a more customizable modular storage system than any other we've ever seen. And they say that they're pretty tough too. So we decided to test that. We happen to have some pack out, tough system 2.0, and of course the Flex, and decided we will drop a 16 pound sledgehammer on them from about 10 feet up in the air to see what happens. First up, the dual. That did not go well. Look at this thing. Yeah, if you look at that footage closely, the sticker must be made of the same stuff they use for black boxes on airplanes. <laughs> Walt should have made the whole case out of stickers. Yeah, but they didn't. Nope. <laughs> so then we moved on to one of our precious pack out boxes. I personally voted against doing this, by the way. Three, two, one, drop it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the case did indeed crack open. I think the lid liner actually held it together, but it cracked pretty bad. Still nowhere near as bad as no. the DeWalt. Must have made their pack out lid entirely out of DeWalt stickers. <laughs> Likely, yes. Then it was time for the Flex Stack Pack. Three, two, one. Now at first it looked like it survived perfectly, but upon closer inspection... Yeah, there was a tiny crack in the top, but it easily held up better than the other two. So yeah, the Flex Stack Pack is indeed tougher, but just for fun, we decided to drop the hammer again. Now we spared the DeWalt another round since it was clearly retired. But the pack out went back under the hammer and the crack spread pretty significantly. We later dropped the hammer two more times for fun, and on the second, it actually went all the way through breaking that liner away. Now we dropped the hammer a second time on the flex as well, and while that tiny crack did grow, it didn't grow by much at all. Now you can see the crack for sure, but the structure of the lid isn't affected at all. I literally was able to jump up and down on the thing and the crack didn't grow anymore. So the stack pack is the toughest and most customizable, but what about the price? Yeah, so pricing is going to be just under Milwaukee in most cases, and after playing with all of the customization features and beating the crap out of it, I feel like it's a better deal than Packout if it is the same price. Now, Packout has quite a lead on Stack Pack, though, with things like Vax, lighting, radio, and their whole new wall mounting system. And the racks for your van. And the racks for the van. But when we asked, Flex said that this was just the beginning, and we can expect Stack Pack system to get bigger and bigger every year. All right, so what do you guys think? Are the customization features and the toughness enough to make you invest in a new storage system? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to join Rob and I this and every Friday for the Power Tool Week in Review. We'll see you then.